So we've discussed how uh, lines can be parallel or they can uh, intersect at one point. And now comes the point where we might go, well, actually, OK, um, if two lines are going to intersect, can we determine where they intersect? So let's say we have these two equations. Uh, these are both straight lines, and we want to work out where two lines intersect. Now, one thing that you must get clear is that all the way through A-level maths, and really beyond it, when we're talking about two lines or two curves intersecting one another, we mean simultaneous equations. So whenever the word intersection comes up, or in nine times out of ten, we are looking at using some form of simultaneous equations. Okay? So, simultaneous equations isn't something new. Uh, you will have looked at this at higher GCSE. So, if we're going to use simultaneous equations on these two, they are currently in the format where we would use what is called the elimination method, okay? where we choose to eliminate either the x's or the y's in order to then work out uh, the value of both x and y. So I'm going to use the elimination method to do this. Uh, in the next video, we're going to show you an example of using the substitution method. But for first off, the elimination method. So first of all, um, if you're not particularly happy with simultaneous equations, you do need to make sure you revise it. You need to decide whether we're going to uh, eliminate the x's or we're going to eliminate the y's. Personally, I'd probably be going for the y's here. Uh, the reason being is that I could multiply the bottom equation by 4 and then add the two equations. There won't be any subtraction involved. I can add them because I would have minus 4y on the bottom and positive 4y on the top. And so they would cancel each other out when I add them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 4. And I'm going to get 7 lots of 4 is 28. So 28x. Take away 4y is equal to 9 times 4. That's 36. Okay? And I'm going to call that equation 3. Notice how I'm using this numbering system to make sure it's very easy for the examiner to follow. Okay? It's not just for the examiner, it's also for your teacher as well. Um, but it is also, this is how really you should begin to set out your work in the way that you are explaining at each step exactly what you're doing. So it's very clear to whoever's looking at it what you're up to. So we now have equation 1, 2 and 3. I'm going to be looking at equation 1 and 3. I'm going to add those two equations together. Okay, that's what I designed to do. 3x plus 28x is 31x. 4y plus minus 4y is 0. So we've eliminated the y's. And you have 26 plus 36. Well, that's 62. So if we've got 31x is 62, then that would mean that x must be 2. Okay, so 31 lots of 2 is 62. So with x already in place, I just need to now substitute that into one of the two original equations in order to find y. So I'm going to substitute it into equation 2. So sub into equation and I'm going to get 7 lots of 2 is 14 take away y equals 9 so y must be 5 so that therefore means that the two equations intersect or the two lines intersect at the coordinates x being 2 and y being 5 Okay. So that is how you can use the elimination method to find where two lines intersect. Okay. Beforehand, it may well have been that you were just taught how to do simultaneous equations to work out two values x and y, 
but you had no actual reason as to why you were doing it. When you are doing it, you are actually trying to find where the two lines actually intersect, okay? The actual coordinates. And that's what you've been trained to do, okay? So in the next video, we're going to look at the substitution method.